this I uh, super Tendo boy and welcome back to vanilla minecraft so I know it's been two weeks since I posted a video but today I'm back with a brand new one command so to start out just like all one commands you will need to give yourself a command block with uh, either the command in the description or the one that I'm putting up on the screen what I did was I just did slash give and then you can press tab to enter your username C O M M press tab and it will automatically correct itself to a command block then you can press enter and uh, here I have myself my command block I can set it on the ground in uh, any fashion that I want and paste the command from the description let me go and grab that real quick and then you can paste it into your command block either using control V or whatever other shortcuts your computer might use or you have binded and then you can press done and you might get a little bit of lag uh, once it's entered the command and then you need to go into your creative inventory and you need to grab something to activate it I like to use a wooden button because that's what I'm used to and that's what I decided I liked so you can just go ahead and activate it and some stuff will happen and there you go uh, Super Tender Boy's Time Golems Tower has successfully installed so this is my very first uh, one command boss battle. I know those are very popular and I was never a huge fan of them because I thought a lot of them were repetitive and unoriginal so I tried to make my own that was a little more different that used some unique mechanics so uh, you have the basic remove machine to remove it uh, you can just right click that and it'll get rid of the machine um, it's uh, 25,056 characters so not too many but still probably my biggest one command so to start off you will need yourself a uh, oh where is it uh, an enchanting table and a clock just a regular old clock with four gold and a redstone then you'll want to uh, place down the enchantment table now as soon as I throw this clock onto here the boss battle is gonna start so you're gonna need yourself some pretty good gear uh, but if you play smart with this boss battle, you won't need that good of gear. I'm just going to grab some stuff that um, I think might help. So let's grab that. And uh, something that is uh, very essential, even if you know this boss battle pretty well, is uh, probably feather falling. There we go, feather falling. So let me just go ahead and make this armor in the anvil. Be right back. Okay, there we go. We can just go ahead and destroy the anvil. And now we can get into game mode zero. So you'll see in my hotbar, I don't have a sword. And that is because fighting this boss with melee is almost suicidal. And you'll see why here in a minute. So I can just go ahead and equip my armor. I got protection four and uh, feather falling four, both of which will help greatly. And uh, I'm not going to say any more as I begin the ritual to summon the boss. And as you can see, the towers have already started generating. As you can see, there are four different towers. Uh, you kind of have to approach them to get them to load here. There we go. Oh, and we got a bit of lag because the top of the towers just spawned. And you'll want to get onto these towers as quick as possible because as you'll see here in uh, 15 or 20 seconds, the towers will begin to destroy themselves, as you can see. Uh, and let's see, we weren't quite quick enough so let's get into game mode one to get ourselves back on the tower uh, because these towers will destroy themselves very very quickly and uh, if you don't defeat the boss battle in time then they will be destroyed and you and the boss will fall to your death and you will get nothing out of the boss battle and uh, actually right so so as you can see everything is nice and calm but as soon as we step onto here as you can see the time golem summoned and uh, every I believe it's every 20 seconds a uh, lightning will strike oh there we go forgot to eat my notch apples and uh, sometimes the lightning will strike him, sometimes it will strike you. Uh, but yeah, you saw his uh, basic attacks there, and he's doing his jump attack. So if you couldn't tell, he has three attacks. 
His main attack is if you get close to him, then uh, he will throw you up into the air like a normal golem would. Oh, and that feather falling really helps. Um, his second attack is if you get too far away, he will uh, get a speed effect and he will get speed 5 for a few seconds, allowing him to catch up to you. And the last one, oh, I think he's going to do his, uh, his speed thing here in a second, so let me try to get away from him. Oh, there he goes, and let's see if we can outrun him. Oh, we did, okay. So, your best bet with fighting him is to just lay low, kind of keep your distance from him, and uh, he will also jump here, if you'll see, and try to smash the ground. And that deals a good six heart of damage with uh, full diamond armor, so you need to be careful of that. This is also a very noisy boss battle, if you couldn't tell. The lightning. Oh, there we go. Looks like I'm going to need another notch apple. Come on. I think we're close, guys. Just a few more hits and we should be able to take him out. Just have to keep going around and around. Come on. Yes! We did it! Woo! Okay. So as you can see, once you defeat him, uh, your little area that you are standing on, uh, on the platform, collapses. And you hit the ground without taking any fall damage. And uh, that's because of the jump boost that you get here for a few seconds. And uh, as you can see, you get a new item called the Time Turner. And the lore is to hold right click to turn time. So what I made this do is you can hold this in your hand. And as you can see, nothing happens. But if you hold right click, you can see that you can make time go by a lot faster. So the purpose of this is to... Uh, I guess uh, like if you wanted mobs to summon at a certain time or you wanted to kill the mobs in your world at a certain time or whether you wanted uh, certain things to happen faster or you needed a certain time of day or maybe you just like the way the sunset looks I don't know uh, either way now you got a little clock in your world that allows you to turn time oh and you can see a zombies coming towards us and hopefully we can turn it today before he can get to us Oh no. Ah, there we go. So there you go. You got your time turner. Um, before I leave, I would like to point out to you guys um, that I'm very thankful of all the support you have been showing me towards all my one commands. And I'm hoping to make more boss battles and uh, things like this that generate things uh, like the towers like that. Um, once again, give me all your feedback that you like. Tell me if you like that little trailer bit um, that's using Crush Pixels replay mod. Uh, I hope to use that again in the future, and uh, obviously the one command is in the description, and as always, have yourself a wonderful day.